Alright, hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Yeah, what's going on, Chrono? You trying to s say something to me? Well, you trying to say get on with it? Alright, let's go to Guardia Castle in 600 AD. Ho! Oh, who goes there? I've not seen your face before, and those outlandish clothes wouldn't be one of the Fiend Lord's agents, would he? Ah, fat chance, look at him. That boy's not built to lift a sword, let alone serve in the Fiend Lord's army. Huh, suppose you're right. Now run along, boy, before we're forced to lock you up in the towers. Stop that at once! Queen Lee! That man is my friend, and you will treat him as such. I've never met you before, Queen Lean. What's up? But your majesty, there's something strange about his look. You refuse to obey my orders? No, no, forgive me, my lady. Please enter. <laughs> All right. First thing we're going to go do is we're going to go rest in the bed here and restore our HP and MP. Free healing. Hmm. What is all going on? If only Sir Cyrus were here. Hmm. You've heard of him, surely. Uh, no. Who's Sir Cyrus? Don't know of the great Sir Cyrus? From what depraved village do you hail? Alright, let's pretend I know who he is. Were he here, this whole affair with the Queen's disappearance would never have happened. Okay. So Cyrus is a pretty big shot. So he was the commander of the Knighthood, sworn to protect the Queen, King Queen of his own blade. Ten years ago, he and a lone friend departed on a quest. No one's heard from him since. Okay. All right, I think we heard enough. All right, now, there are lots of treasures in here. There's only one of them you can pick up. And we're gonna go pick it up here right now. You can also um, heal your HP and MP right here if you wanted to. So you just have to wait for her to come around. Or not. There we go. And I think um, one of them re restores just the HP, one of them restores the MP, the other one restores them both. But I find it so much easier to get. Um, wow. Yum, 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 yum. There you go. Just a lot easier to go into the cabin. This is the only treasure chest in the whole castle you can get. And we get an ether. Have you come to season my broth with your lack of culinary expertise? Out! Oh, you have no place in my kitchen! But what in the name of all that's good is ice cream that Her Majesty so wishes I prepare. Ha ha. The kitchen is a battlefield in its own right. So yeah, I guess we are acquainted. Uh, must be Marley in disguise. I like this guy right here. I'm dying! I don't need to be in the kitchen. I need to be in a, an infirm, infirmary. Infirmary, yeah. Oh, just dying of hunger. Your meal is ready. Yay! I'm not dying anymore. All right. Now we were able to cure him. Hmm. Okay, Chancellor. I am to understand that you played some role in helping to rescue my lady wife. Are you owe you a debt of gratitude. No, we didn't. But you know what befell Lean? She's been acting ra rather oddly since her return. She seems to have lost the coral hairpin. She always wore. Ah! She always treasured that thing, so. Forgive me, you must be tired. We already did that, thank you. What's up with this Chancellor? 
There is lots of treasures down here. Like there's one there. All right, I'll be gone. All right. I said, don't pick up any treasures. Your Majesty awaits you, okay. All right. Don't pick up this treasure chest either. It's been over 10 years since Her Majesty first came to this castle, but she's scarce aged a day. In fact, she looks even younger now than she did before her disappearance. Huh. Okay, what's up with this? Ah, oh, there you are. Please leave us. I need to have words with this man in private. Or want to have a... Never mind. It's a family show, folks. As you wish, Your Majesty. Come nearer. Don't be shy. Hee hee hee. Fooled you, didn't I, Chrono? It's me, but everyone keeps calling me Lean for some reason. That's weird. I'm glad you came. We were only together for that short time at the fair, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Thank you, Chrono. Oh no, what's happening? I I feel like I'm being torn apart at the very end of um <laughs> Cygnus X1. Torn apart! I can't go that high. Wow. Cygnus X1's all over this game. Didn't realize, realize, that, realize that before. Help me, Chrono. I'm scared. It's like I'm dying. Please, Chrono, help. What is this, like the uh, Back to the Future scene? Where his parents are disappearing and stuff. Hmm. Well. Her Majesty has dismissed you already? You didn't engage in any untoward behavior, did you? Nah. I'm a good boy. Let's hope that is the case. <laughs> I find that line funny. Proto! Whew, you're okay. Did you find the girl? She what? Disappeared? Hmm, it's just as I thought then. I knew I recognized her from somewhere. You seem to be in Guardia, but it looks a lot older than the Guardia we're from. Yeah, like 400 years. They must have mistaken that girl for her ancestor. Uh-oh. Are you trying to say she's Princess Nadia? Wow. All right. Wicka wicka bam bam. Uh, okay, I can't do that kind of groovy music. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is how babies are made, folks. This is a family show, you know. And someone was supposed to have gone and saved her, but now history's been changed. Now with her out the way... Her out the way, poof, poof, and poof. You know, there's a, like... 21 and 33, there was like 12 generations instead of four. So now we gotta go rescue the princess. Something must happen to the queen in this era if she isn't rescued. And if something happens to her, her descendant, Princess Nadia, will never come into being. Oh no. We have to find the real queen. Well, that's no bueno. 
All right, so let's go. All right, I'll meet you on the other side. All right, that didn't take long. So let's head over to this cathedral. We pray for the peace of our world. We are ever so devout. Tee hee hee. Oh, great Lord and Master, deliver your judgment on the weak and undeserving. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That we might reclaim the future for ourselves in your name. Oh, how delicious, I mean, delightful looking you are. Ah. Why not say a prayer for yourselves? <laughs> All right. Uh, I want some more experience and tech points in Jeet Gold in, 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 uh, in your name. Amen. What did you find? A hairpin? Hey, this is Guardia's Royal Crest. Uh-oh. Ah! Can't learn any text yet. Well, I didn't grind in the forest like I needed to. Now we're both slowed, so this isn't going to be a good fight here. <coughs> here goes one. Alright, you're dead, yay. I only have uh, two more of those cyclones left, folks. Now you're dead, yay. All right, yay. All right, now we learn Lucas Techs. We get the flamethrower and the fire world dual tech. Yay. Wasn't expecting that. Oh no, we got someone else. There's only one of them. We can. Whoa, who's this? Lower your guard and you allow the enemy in. You've come to save the queen? The fiend's lair lies within, it would seem. Will you accompany me? You. You're. It's a giant talking frog, Chrono! I can't stand frogs! I suppose I ought not to expect you to trust me looking as I do. Now, in the Super Nintendo version. Frog, for whatever reason, is the only character that speaks in, like, the old English. The these and the Thou's and all that. Apparently they fixed that in the Steam version. Very well, do as you please, but I must save the Queen. Well, wait! You don't seem like a bad frog, uh, I mean, person. Um, what should we do? Let's go with the frog! Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. All right. Yeah, I know you don't like frogs. So what's your name? Frog, really? All right, we got to rename Frog. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. For some strange reason, the name Glenn con comes to mind. Um, yeah. So, 
I don't know why I want to name him Glenn. It's just I, I think of Glenn Davis, the first first baseman for the Astros in the '80s, who used to hit lots of home runs. Or I don't know. I just want to name him Glenn for some reason. Anyway, Glenn or Frog, his uh, he is a sword user. And he has a power glove, yay. And uh, his text, he already comes with Slurp, which heals a small amount of HP. And the Slurp Slash, which snag enemy with tongue, then slash it. He needs 15 tech points to the next level. So in order to advance the dungeon, you gotta play this organ. All right, let's go. All right, let's advance. You know what, while we're here, let's get her uh, dual tech, the flamethrower. And in order to get the flamethrower to work, they all have to be lined up on a line. Oh, you should be dead, yay. 30 experience, 3 tech points, 180 cheese. And let's go. Now you can avoid enemies. Walk right past them. See that? You don't even have to fight them, but I want to fight them, so let's go. Luca's not in a good position here to use her uh, her flamethrower attack. Twenty experience, two tech points, and Chrono learns the wind slash, and we get a potion for our troubles. Speaking of which. We need to heal these guys up pretty good. <coughs> doesn't matter if we go down the right or left path. It really doesn't matter. Go down the right path first. Um, let's just use the fire world. See what this looks like. See how we use two people on our dual tech. And look at that damage. So all the creatures here are weak to fire. And yeah. Yay. Oh, what's with the disguises? Hurry up and change. No need to be walking around like humans in here. Oh, whoops. Can we get something in here? Well, we can. I thought I could get something in here. Yeah. So they eat humans. Yakra's a genius. His plan to imprison the Chancellor and take on his role worked like magic. Yay. Now the Queen's ours and the castle's in an uproar. This is rich. It's almost time for my shift. I hate pretend to be human. They're so smelly and repulsive. It's demeaning. Burp. All right, I'll pay my respects to the Fiend Lord statue before my shift starts. I thought there was something in there. Oh well. Yeah. Let's go fight him. There's the queen. Oh, you came to rescue me. How kind of you. But I assure you there's no need. The master of this place, Yakra, is so very kind. I've decided to stay here. So please make yourselves at home too. Did you come by chance to save Queen Lean? Oh, you did? Well, that's good to know. Get a hundred gill and an ether. Nice. Oh, how good of you to come. I'm sure, Yakura will be pleased. 
please pass the time in here with us until he has a chance to come and greet you properly. Don't be in such a hurry to leave. Please take the time to enjoy yourselves with us. <laughs> All right. Some more of these snake things. All right. Um... Uh, if that snake was... Oh, no, I got Lucas poisoned. Uh, uh, let's go. Lucas about to be dead here. Water attack. Glenn's got enough health, or so I thought. Crap. Well, we uh, gonna have to use another one of those at Athenian waters. Oh, he revives back with one HP. Okay, good. Oh, wait, was there something else in there? Hold on a minute. You know, one of these pots, there's like one of those strength capsules. Yeah. <coughs> okay, that was pretty easy. 20 experience, 2 tech. Points at 120 gil, I think it was. I would go in here first. Alright, so let's get this. We get an ether, yay. A potion. A maid suit? That sounds good. Let's put that on Luca. Massive upgrade. And in here, get a Naga Bromide. Oh crap. There's humans in here. Let's try to steal our Bromide, will you? It's like Playboys for those of you guys who don't know. No product placement. Uh, it's 33. And 54. There we go. Chrono gains levels. Okay, nothing in that pot either. Okay. Now let's get this while we're at it. Get a steel saber. That's gonna go on Chrono. Gains five attack power. Go around these spikes and hit the switch. And here's some actual humans. Oh, there, there we go. There's the strength capsule I was looking for. Oh, you're humans! They fit the queen in the back. Please rescue her. Sounds like a plan. Somewhere within the, this complex, there's a shrine to the fiend lord. And there's treasure to be found there as well. All right. Let's go kick his butt! All right, let's fight you guys again.
Luke is by far the slowest character we got in this game. Alright, well, that was easy enough. Didn't need to waste tech points on him. Oh, well. Now we go up the middle and... Stop them! Oh, we get two more of those things. You're dead. Ah, oh, missed. All right. So, yay. Yay, Slurp Slash. An X strike that's a little tech with um, uh, Glenn and um, and Chrono there. Too bad I can't use. Nice. And the names of these Emmys are different from the SNES version, by the way. Alright. Here we get a save point and a shelter. Which is more important. Inventory. We need the strength capsule on. Come on, Glenn. Got three shelters. Yeah, my MP's down to nothing. All right. Let's go around this way. Oh, wait, no! Now, these bats are hard to deal with physical attacks. Even though, uh, Luca, so she has, like, a gun weapon, has, like, a, a chance of hitting them more so than we do. I always have a hard time engaging these enemies. I can't use the. That's what I wanted. Oh, yeah, they're long dead. Yay. All right, yay. 26 experience, three tech points, 195 G's. And see switches on the walls. You got there go some spikes. All right, let's go. Ooh. I just want to do cyclone. So. Oh yeah. All right. Good job. So that's what 32 you're dead yay 17 and 24 is 41 oh you're not dead okay I must have missed the number on it earlier oh well yay let's look at this note no entry within oh too bad so sad Fully there's a way in there get a potion and a panacea, good, we need those. Oh, we got three of these things.
So, how come it won't let me do all three of those? Oh well. Want to do all three of those. Oh well, let's just kick their butts. Kick his butt, rather. And that did 14 damage, oh no. Thirty-nine four. All right. Good. We're leveling up pretty good in here. Oh, we get more bats. Let's get all three of those in one go. Nice. Oh, we missed one. You suck. All right, you're dead. You're dead. Yeah, they have low HP. But they're hard to hit, folks. Uh, that looks like to me, it's like like um, like some Final Fantasy games how you have like an HP MP spring. Or not. <laughs> It just, it just looks like one, so good job of disguising itself. But we'll just go all out and one shot it. Yay. And let's see, what we get for our troubles. Yay, we get another shelter. All right, so let's go up the middle this time. Oh, wow. No. Oh. There we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. Nice. All right. Um, okay. All right. Get an iron sword. That's going to be for the glitter. Only plus two, but that's better than nothing. And how you get through there, you gotta play the exact same chord progression. Now that we've cleared out all of our enemies, we can just go straight through to the um, door that wasn't there before. All right. Thirty-seven. All right, you're dead. That's uh, sixty-one. Last time I did math. Whoa! Knocked me all the way back. That's fifty-one. You're dead. Yay! He's got fifty HP. But Luca has her sight scope on, and I'm not paying attention to be honest with you. Um. We have a sa uh, yeah, save point coming up, so I don't mind using it all on my heels here. <coughs> they should be one shot. Sixteen experience, two techs. Alright, 22 and 2, 270. Luca learns Hypno Wave. Was it? Was there any difference between that and a microwave? I don't know, folks. 
Uh, let's use our shelter. I should make a backup save. And prepare yourself, Queen Lee. It is time you bid farewell to this world. Or not. You! How'd you get in here? Glenn! Flee, your majesty. We shall dispatch this fiend. Be careful! <laughs> There's no use in fighting. None of you will leave this place alive. Intolerable frog, let us see you hop your way out of this. Enough of this Chancellor charade. Whoa! It is Yakra! And he looks goofy. Now, either you can either use X Strike. Or uh, Flame Whirl. I choose to use Flame Whirl. Oh wait, that only did 123. Let's try X Strike. No. 47. That does about 50 more damage. But, ouch. But, um. Only problem is, um, Frog is our healer, or Glenn is our healer. And he counterattacks a lot of times with that. Sure plays a mean pinball. Luca. All right. Oh no, that's going to hit her again. Forty-seven, yay. So this is my strategy. X-Strike does do more damage, but I need a healer. Um, Luca again. Oh no, maybe I should have gone with Chrono. Crap. Chrono will not survive another um, slurp. All right, good. Crap. Him. Okay, good. Yay, Yakra's dead. Fifty experience, six hundred G's. And here she is, the queen herself. Thank you, Glenn. I knew you'd come to rescue me. His majesty awaits most anxiously. We should return to the castle. But not before we get these treasures. I thank you, Chrono and Luca, for all your aid. Yeah, this is so much better than all the D's and Dows and all that stuff. And I as well. Please accompany us to the castle. You will be most welcome guests. 
But first, we shall get a mini Sir Yay and the real Chancellor. Our true Chancellor. Whoo, my thanks. That monster stuffed me in there like a sack of coin. Whatever that means. Oh, your majesty, I'm undamaged as you can see. I just need some oxygen. <coughs> Let us be on our way, yay. And I don't have to do a cut, uh, cut or anything, yay. That's nice. You cannot know how I, I worried, Lean. No, how, whatever you said. Yakra, that vile beast, impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must institute a stricter criminal justice system in this kingdom to ensure such fiends never threaten the royal family's safety again. That's, uh, Frog's theme, or in this case, Glenn. I am disgraced. I fail to protect my queen. Glenn? All right, before we go anywhere, oh yeah, we need to do this, don't we? Let's see if we have the, see if uh, Princess Nadia or AKA Marley comes back. Yay! Huh, what happened? Princess Nadia. Chrono! It was awful. I was so afraid. I couldn't see or feel anything, but I knew I was someplace cold. I wonder if that's what it's like to die. Possibly. Your Highness, I... You came to help me too. Wait. Your Highness... Uh-oh. The jig is up. <laughs> Guess you guys figured me out, huh? No, it was all Luca. Didn't mean to trick you, Chrono. My name is really Nadia. My father's King Guardia the 33rd, and this is King Guardia the 21st. I just wanted to go to the fair and have fun like everyone else. But if you know who I really was, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, would you? Yes, I would have. I've never brought a girl home before, like my mom said. Oh, Chrono, that's why I like you. The real queen's safe, right? Let's go home. <coughs> and let's go home and live happily ever after. Before we go home, Let's talk to some people here. You must be the real queen, huh? Better believe it, sister. My, we truly have could be twins. You, hey, you get along well with the king now, or I'll get angry. Actually, I wouldn't even be able to do that, would I? <laughs> um, never mind. Wish you all the best. Before we go anywhere, let's re oh, never mind. Let's talk to Frog. It was my presence here that endangered the Queen. I can remain at this castle no more. Eek! This isn't Eek the Cat. <coughs> Indeed, your resemblance to the Queen is uncanny. Proto, you have the makings of a great swordsman. Maybe frogs aren't so bad after all. Hmm. They make great uh, middle school uh, dissective projects. Also good Louisiana food, too. All right, before we go, I want to heal up. And healing here is a lot faster than healing in the kitchen. Besides, I don't want to steal all the uh, soldiers' food. They're trying to eat or kill the Fiend Lord's troops and stuff. All right. So let's get out of here. 
Go home and live happily ever after. But first, I'll meet you on the other side of the forest. Actually, I decided to leave that in because I didn't encounter any enemies, so there you go. Let's go to the market, though. See what upgrades and weapons we can get, just in case if this isn't the end of the game or something. I've already got one of those. That's only an upgrade by one, but it's better than nothing. We've got a lot of money to spend at this point. No, I'm gonna... Yeah, I don't want to do that. I just get a bronze helm? Oh yeah, we, we already have a bronze helm for her. And uh, I didn't equip it. I'm an idiot. What does he have in his inventory? Oh yeah, that's right, he has a steel saber. So, bronze blade. Bronze sword. Pea shooter. I didn't equip that, whoops. I forgot to equip that. All right, do come again. All right, let's head back. I guess I'll cut to um, I'll cut to uh, this, the gate where we go back to the fair. Marley, so how do we get home? Well, your highness, we. Please, quick, call me your highness. Call me Marley. Well then, Marley, observe. It's like Stargate or something. Whoa. Look, you're amazing. Where's uh, Richard Dean Anderson at anyway? Hehehehehe. <laughs> Sorry, I should be more humble in front of... <laughs> Enough already. I'm a princess. But what's that mean? I can't do anything special. But you, you're incredible. I'll trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I'll call these distortions gates. Yeah, like Stargate stuff. They're basically portals to the same location at a different time. The gates are unstable. That's why they appear and disappear all the time. So I use the principle behind my telepod device to create this gate key. It's what's locking the gate in place. But why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. Hmm. This is starting to sound complicated. Why don't we head back to our own time for now? I mean, we did fix the past, so it's happily ever after, right? made it! Chrono Luca, why don't you come back with me to the castle? Give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. I'm really sorry for putting you through all this, Marley. What are you talking about? It's the most fun I've had in months. And we have a happy ending. Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little more snooping and why that gate appeared. See you guys soon, Luca! 
Well, are you ready to escort me home? Well, you know what? Well, let's escort her home, which, you know, since everything's taken care of, could possibly be the finale of this game already? But we're only three episodes in, or this is episode number two with an intro. I mean, we're about an hour and a half into this game, and, uh, seems like this game's too easy. We'll find out if tomorrow's the finale or not. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger.